Good morning students. I hope you all are good. In today's class, we are going to start with a new chapter. That is subtraction by borrowing. Students, what does subtraction mean? Already we have learned subtraction in first term. See, subtraction means to taking away something from a given number. Example, example, um, with some stones. There is a bowl with some stones. I'm removing stones here. This is called as subtracting. Mean if there is something in this bowl, we are removing. We are removing. It is also called as minus. If we remove from this bowl. It is called as minus. It is called as subtraction. Removing or taking away something. Or taking away something. Example, you have five pens. You gave two pens to your friend. So, how many pens are remaining with you? See. If you remove two pens. See, I am removing two fingers. Two pens from you. One and two. So, how many pens are with you? One. Two, three, three pens with you. This part we have already studied in first term. See what is written here: subtraction by borrowing. What does borrowing means? Borrowing means taking something from someone. Taking something from someone. Example: when you are writing something. Or when you want to write something, but you don't have pen or pencil, you take something from your friend. You take some. That is called you are borrowing or taking something from someone to complete your work. Called as borrowing. The example: If you have five pens and you want to give six pens, you want to give six pens, but today. But you have only five pens. How can you give six pens? You will be not be able to give six pens to your friend because you have only five pens. You cannot minus a bigger number from small number. You cannot. Then, how to complete this sum? We will study in today's class. If you want to give six pens, so you will have to take. More pens. You will have to take more pens from someone and give them give to your friends. Means you are borrowing that pen from someone and then giving to your friends. This is called as borrowing. Now, now student, I have written two examples on the board. First example. Fifty-one minus. This is the sign of minus. Minus twenty-four. If you didn't see. First, as you remember, we always start with units place one minus four. You cannot remove four from one. I have only one finger. We cannot remove four from it. So you have to convert this one. By taking one number from the tens place, six place will say, "Please give me one number." So when there is a bigger number down and smaller number up, you cannot minus. So students see, first cut this one, first cut this one, and write this one here because you cannot minus. Have to. Complete this number. Now, at the tens place, please give me one number. So, who is in tens place? Yes, five is in tens place. Five, please give me one number. So, five will be cut. Five fingers here. Five will give one to units place. Means units place or in one ten from. Tens place. So the tens will give as your friend gives you pen. So tens and units are friends. Tens will give one to units place. So here it is 
one one eleven. But students see, tens was having five numbers with him. It was if if you give one number to someone, how many numbers are remaining with tens place? Correct. Come with me. One, two, three, four. So here it is. Okay students, now we will continue with next exercise. 